This week on The Fish Guys. Look at that, huh? That's a pretty fish. Now, I just saw a sailfish free jump right inside here in the shallows. Hurry up, Lane. Get it out there, buddy. They're fast as hell when they're swimming. <laughs> here he is right here. It's a big fish. He's just using his weight against me. Grab the leader. Easy with him. That, my friend, is going to be a fish. Fish on! Got a fish on! In Key Largo resides two professional fishing guides, Captains Lane Goodwin and George Clark Jr. For these two fishermen, every day is an experience on the water. Even though they have a routine that repeats every morning, every day is a new experience when they head away from the dock. It's another adventure for the fish guys. Today, fishing the deep blue. You know what I love about fishing in the Florida Keys? It's a challenge, it's always different. It's like a puzzle, George. And we have all these little pieces, wind direction, wind intensity, temperature, time of year, currents, tides, whatever it may be, but we're always putting these pieces together to go out and catch fish. Well, and there's a lot of factors every day that we go out there and we don't know what they are. So we're going out today, out into the blue water, cobalt blue, beautiful conditions. Uh, the wind is gonna be down. You know, we don't have to worry about uh, rough seas and we're gonna go out there and hopefully get on a bunch of different species of fish. 250 feet past your mark. 250 feet past it? Yeah, beyond That's it. That's fine. Put a couple baits out. Got a little bit of something right here. I just can't, it's definitely fish, and I got something right above the bottom. I just don't know exactly how big this thing is. Out here, you better be prepared because you never know what you're gonna bump into. And there's no floating tackle shops out in the blue water. So, you know, you gotta bring a variety of hooks, swivels, all the terminal tackle. And, and where I've been in trouble in the past is where I didn't bring a heavy enough leader to try other things. Right, right. I, I have a saying, you can never have too much tackle, too much ice, or too much bait. There's no such thing as too much. Or too much food. Right. Good, now we can venture and slide out, out here and uh, let's have a fun day, man. You know, let's try to hit a couple spots, maybe try something new today. You know, the blue water is my playground because I grew up out there. My dad being a charter captain and fishing with so many legendary captains here in the Keys. I love it out there, Lane, because you just never know what you're gonna catch. Oh, I got one. He's on? I think so. I got to catch up to him. Oh, I'd say he's on. He's on. It's a nice fish, Lane. Looks like it. No, it's heavy. Let me know when he's getting close. Nah, I don't see anything yet. Shouldn't be down too, too deep, though. I see him now. I see him now. Nice one. Ooh, he's feisty, man. <laughs> I got a good one. Wow, look at how glowing he is. And I don't mean his uh, personality. No? I mean, he looks pretty like a nice guy to me. You ready for me? Yeah, go ahead. There you go. Perfect. Perfect! That's a nice tuna. Heck huh? yeah. Way to start the day out. Look at that, huh? Man, that's a pretty fish. Good fighting fish, great eating fish. Doesn't take many of these to have a nice no, you know, feed, this this will feed a family of eight people. Right. It's important with any fish is to get them in a good brine, get them as cold yeah. as quick as you can. Yeah, we're going to get this guy iced down real quick and then get get back on, see if we can uh, get him to find us again. I, I'll catch a few tunas and then look for something else. Heck yeah. I mean, we got all yeah. the lines in. We're ready to roll. The Fish Guys are being brought to you by Wellcraft, built by fishermen, for fishermen and their families.
Key Largo in the Florida Keys. Jefferson's Bourbon. Transform corn to get bourbon. Transform bourbon to get Jefferson's. Snapper Up non-frozen fishing chum. Successful fishing begins with Snapper Up. Tackle webs and cooler webs. Available at a marine dealer near you and wherever quality coolers are sold. Being miles offshore, preparation is the key. With the GPS marking fish and plenty of bait in the live well, the guys are anticipating a great day on the water. Hey Lane, why don't you just nose hook, yeah, just nose hook one of these pilchards and throw them out there. Is that a sandy, dude? It's good and lively. You don't like nah, the sandy? I don't like them. You want to raise a belly? Yeah. Yeah, pretty loose drag. You can let them eat it and get them hooked and let them just burn a bunch of line. That's... Yeah, we got a bunch of line to burn. I'm really enjoying the day out here in the deep blue ocean off the upper Florida Keys. Isn't it awesome, man? We got fish busting like 360 degrees around the boat, blowing holes in the water, eating freebies, and now we're putting some tuna in the box. Not a bad time. Doesn't get any better in my book. Let them run, let them run, let them run, because we're fishing that lighter drag. He's coming you're at just, me. You're just twisting line. Maybe give yourself, give yourself a little bit more. Oh, I'm on too. You're on? Yeah. We're batting a 1,000. We got two lines out with two fish on them. Can't improve any more than that. We could throw another line out and try to hook one more. <laughs> you know, everybody's got a story about wrecks out here, Lane. Oh, yeah, this is, this is a wreck. Well, what is it? Well, it was half of a submarine from World War II that a plane hit. You know, it's like, well, how do you know that? Well, a buddy of mine told me that. You know, his analogies might not be the most accurate, but they're definitely entertaining. I love it, Lane. I love it. You got something pretty good, buddy. Just let him go. Just, you know. Oh, just... he's going. Don't worry about that. This could be a bottom fish. Well, it was a bottom fish. Got eaten, my man. Uh, Almaco. Uh, Almaco Jack. There you go. This is what I was telling you about these Almacos. They're fun fish to catch. Right. And they're like in the amberjack family, in the jack family, but they're actually pretty good eating fish too. You know, we love them, so. Do they have them without teeth marks? No. And maybe their whole this, body? Well, this one, this one right here, he had a bad day. So your fish just got attacked by some type of predator, a barracuda, a yep. shark. All of a sudden, my fish starts pulling out too. That does not sound good. I think you just the got tax eaten. man just got this one. He just got eaten. He's intact. It's a tuna. He's got a little chunk missing out of his rear end. Somebody had him, but they let him go. Decent black fin. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, he bled him out for you. Well, that was nice of him. Lost the one off the bottom, but that's all right. Right. I, I, know, I know we'll get more bites on them, and normally the sharks will eat a couple. Fill up. And, and that's it. Then they right. leave you alone. You know, I don't like to sit on a spot and keep feeding sharks. I won't do it. Right. I hit a mark on that GPS. Cool, let's go back. Got two and a half fish in the box. That's a nice one though, buddy. Yeah, that's, that's a big black fish. I think Mr. Shark helped you out. Every fisherman will agree, having good eyesight increases your success on the water. And for George and Lane, Having a sharp set of eyes isn't only important for a healthy life, but also imperative to their charter business. Old George is getting up in age. He's got to stop by Doc Bellini's and get him some reading glasses. I'm going to go ahead and go with him. I like Doc Bellini. Awesome. How's fishing you? been? Good. Fishing's been it's great. A little windy, though. Honestly, if I didn't have good eyes, I couldn't get on fish like I do. It's all about having good vision when you're sight fishing. Yeah, yeah, have, have a go seat. Look at your flying fishermen. Well, okay. Have at it. Sounds good. So Doc and I sit down and I'm checking out my new reading glasses. Whoa. That's when your family picked out. That's when yeah. they said you like. That these one's are, great. These oh, are no, no, those are good. Harry Potter kind of thing going there. Honestly, I'm not here just for reading glasses. I have a different mission. I'm a little concerned about Lane. Um, he's just not seeing things like he used to. Right. And uh, it's really starting to affect our fishing ability out of the boat. We need to uh, maybe go address this and, right. and, and, and get it. Yeah, we, it's fixable. I think right? it's time. I right. think it's time we intervene. So I'm in the corner of Doc Bellini's office, just checking out the flying fisherman sunglasses. I like these. 
Yeah, those look nice. You like those? those? Are great. Yeah, those are yeah. good. It says white What's flying say? fishermen. They don't say white flying fishermen. I don't know. I can't. What's that say? No, you, you can't, can't read the model. You can't number. say that. You can't see it because you're not seeing good. I got to tell you, Lane has horrible vision. Look, let's just let's just have Doc check you out. We'll see where where you're at. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm concerned. You got time? I always have time for you, especially now, because it's critical mass time. All right, fine. I'll get a quick exam. All right, Doc, I don't have a whole lot of Come time. Come on, Lane, just, just so sit you know. down. This will only take a couple minutes. I've waited eight years for this. Have a seat. What letter is that? It's an F. F? That's not an F, Lane. That's an E, buddy. How about that? What is that? That's a I. I'll admit it. I was having a hard time seeing those little letters. Oh, that's an H. Yeah, that's <laughs> definitely an H. I'll, I mean, I just missed a few fish. It has nothing to do with missing fish, friend. What's wrong? You can't see them. All right, Doc, just some light prescription glasses, Whatever like some you, reading glasses. Lane, I'll something. make you see like a champ. So now Doc has Lane all hooked up with his eye testing apparatus. It's about time this got done. This is worse than I thought. What do you mean? I had to get something right. You got CSS. CSS? That doesn't sound good. What, what is CSS? Can't see. <laughs> oh, Got it. Oh. Lane, it's going to be OK. You're in good hands here, all right? I, I trust Doc. Well, Lane's a little sensitive about his appearance. So we're going to have to keep that in mind when he's picking out his frames. You don't have anything more stylish than that, Doc? This is exactly what George picked Whoa. out for you. And those are some classic glasses. Are these polarized, Doc? I can get them polarized. OK. They're a little heavy. They are heavy, but they're adjustable. I don't care what they look like. I just need my fishing partner to see the fish. Damn, I can see good, George. Why didn't I do this before? You know I've always said that the eyeballs on the boat are the most important tools you have. I agree. Because when we're out there, we're always hunting, Lane. We're always looking and I see something happening in the water, I'm gonna run over there and catch whatever it is. So we're moving and George sees something. I just saw a sailfish free jump right inside here in the shallow. So we're gonna throw, throw a bait out with a couple freebies and see if he finds it. Hurry up, Lane, get it out there, buddy. They're fast as hell when they're swimming. <laughs> it's a free jumping sailfish, Lane. We're gonna go get on them. Wine, 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 Lane. They're right behind the boat. There's another one right here. I got a little bitty hook on here, George. It's like a one-oh hook. Dude, just doesn't matter. Throw another scoop. Throw another scoop. I'm telling you what, when you see a free jumping fish like that and you can get a bait in front of them, game on. It's going to happen. There he is. Sail. There he is. Coming at us. <laughs> he don't like this. There he goes. There That's he goes. Way out there. How cool is it when those sailfish come out the water? There he is, there he is. Right off the bow, That's brother. That's freaking awesome. I'll tell you, that's the payoff, right? When you're fighting the fish and they're tail, tail walking and jumping and doing cartwheels and backflips. That's what it's all about. Very visual. And if your heart's not beating 100 miles an hour. There's something wrong there's with There's something you. wrong. Now, when they get up close to the boat, they get a little squirrely. He might want to do loops around the boat. Well, that's so you right. Just, yeah. You just got to kind of see where he's at. Now, we got buoys right here. Fishing is a team effort. I'm driving the boat. You're fighting the fish on the bow. We're having to avoid all these obstacles. Well, you're doing a good job. And there was tons of lobster traps and stuff out there. And you never know where the fish are going to go. And like I said, we're using ultra, ultra light leader and a small hook. I just grabbed a rod that really wasn't rigged for him. Oh, well, it's the tuna, a little right. bitty one of Daiichis. All right, bump us forward. He's right underneath the bow here, so. All right, I'm going to neutral. Here he is, right here. Well, it's not life or death, Lane, but I'll tell you what, after you're on a fish for 35, 40 minutes, you want to get them next to the boat and get the release. Right, the longer you fight them, the better chance something could go wrong. The Fish Guys are being brought to you by Daiichi, world's sharpest hooks. Key Largo Chocolates, world famous Key Largo chocolates and ice cream, made in the fabulous Florida Keys, but shipped worldwide. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. Aquaflage, the leader in performance apparel. Yamaha. Reliability starts here.
George and Lane are fishing the deep blue, miles offshore. With a nice sailfish on the line, the team of skilled fishermen are working in tandem to land this fish. With adrenaline pumping, the battle with this sailfish has lasted over 30 minutes. The fish is, is going way off our bow now. So there's a ton of intensity when you're on a fish for 30 minutes. I mean, you could cut it with a, a knife, Lane. Right, right. I mean, hey, look, the stress levels are up, but that's why we like doing this. I'll tell you what, my heart's beating, my blood's pumping. This is what it's all about. We're gonna jump, and there he goes. But if I put too much on him, I'm gonna break him off or bend the hook. All right, bump us forward. He's kind of up here in front of the boat, but there's a good chance that, you know, he's had enough now, Lane, and he might turn around, and that's when they do that big circle. Um, but this guy's just, he's a big fish. He's just using his weight against me, kind of, you know, pulling nice and slow. We played him out a little bit, bunch of jumps, some head shaking, little window, we call it window wiping when you just see their nose. You know? Back and forth. Like a, a windshield wiper. Right. And uh, they get tired like this, so what we'll do, Lane, I'll work them up to the boat. Be very careful when you go to handle them, because if he tries to jump, you don't want to get him stuck in the face. Yeah, we don't want that. What a nice fish. Here, you see him next to the boat, Lane? Atlantic sailfish. Here, he's right here. So our goal here is to just touch the leader. In the world of sail fishing, and even tarpon fishing, a leader fish is a caught fish. Well, and you're dealing with a fish that's seven feet long with a big pointy thing off his head that will stab you. Yeah, I mean, it's important to be really careful, not only for the fish, but for us too. So getting that leader, that's an official catch lane. Can't be hesitant. I don't care if I break him off. I don't want to see you get hurt. All right. Grab the leader. Easy with him. He's, he's off. All right. He's off. That's fine. That's fine. That fish is 100% released. He's swimming down there. He didn't get hurt. Good to go. And guess what? Sailfish release. Good job, Bubba. And guess what? 70 mile an hour, That's these fast. guys. That's fast. Right? So it doesn't take them but one tail kick to get from here to over there to eat a bait. Right, right. And then I when was... you hook them, they go, whoa, wait, whoa. You know? Oh, and they're gone. <laughs> they're gone. That was awesome. That was super that was cool, awesome. man. What a great day, brother. Good job, dude. That was fun. We're out on a 30-foot 30, 30 well craft ripping all over the place, having a good time. I mean, can't What are they that. thinking giving us the keys to this thing, huh? I don't know. I don't know, but you know what? Caught some tunas, caught some Almaco jacks, got on some sailfish. You know, haven't done much of that here lately, and it's just starting to go. Right. So, I mean, hey, great day all around. Heading back to the dock. Let's clean up these fish and, uh, and eat them. Let's, Let's have some of these tuna fish. It's one of the funnest days for me. Let's just go out and go fishing is what we said this morning. That's what we did and we caught a variety of species. So you are the And man. I have fun because you don't get to do a lot of that right. or haven't. So that's what makes it exciting. Buddy. Well, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Love it. Glad you didn't eat my sandwich too. I did. With tuna in the cooler, everyone knows where George is heading next, to the pilot house. Chef Luigi has already been in the kitchen cooking up some other fresh seafood. It's more great cooking tips from Chef Luigi. Well, we're back here at the Pilot House restaurant, and as always, Chef Luigi has something really, really special for us, Lane. What are we making today, Luigi? We're gonna work today with some fresh hog fish. Hog fish, Lane. One, one of, of our, best. One of our it's favorites, one of right. absolute okay. favorite things to eat. What we're gonna do today, we're gonna crust it with some uh, rusted macadamia nuts, and we're gonna finish the plate with some macadamia and encrusted. Yes. And a salt, what's a it? A tropical yeah. salsa. Let me tell you about something about the salsa. You can play with that salsa, whatever you want, right? Right now, I like to play with the mango and uh, pineapple, but you can okay. use whatever you have in season. Okay. Like a papaya, like, a, you know, melon. Very tropical. Yes. Whatever and you want. That's what's exactly. going on it after yes. it. It's gonna be simple and gonna be good. So we're gonna finish, start with the salt pepper with the fish, locally. After that, we're gonna pan seed it in a pan. Okay. And after that, we're gonna flip it. We're gonna crust it with that one, and we're gonna finish in the oven. Okay, so and, and how long in the oven, just depending on the size of the Depends fillet? On the size of the fish. Gotcha. Yeah. You can throw it in the oven easy. for one or two minutes, it's gonna be easy, simple. You can use whatever fish you want. 
and everybody can do it. Right, right. I like the old fork trick. You want to know when fish is done, stick a fork in. If it pulls out nice and clean, the fish is done. Well, take you know it what? Out. That's what we used to say all the time is put a fork in him, he's done. That's it, exactly. That works great for fish. And George, voila. Oh, come on now. Ooh, ooh. I got to get. No, no, you don't want to eat any of that. All right, go ahead. What do you think? Huh? Luigi. That is good. Oh my goodness. Get a little bit of fruit on there, Lane. Pilot House Restaurant right here in Key Largo. Man. Come by, see <laughs> Chef Luigi, and I tell you what, he will blow your mind with some of this. Yeah, That's come incredible. by and order that and then <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> Closed captioning and the cooking segment for the Fish Guys has been brought to you by Pilot House Restaurant and Marina, home port for locals, located on the water in downtown Key Largo. For more information regarding the Fish Guys, make sure to check out their website to watch recent episodes, book a charter, and purchase apparel. Also, check out the Fish Guys on social media, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.